my name is Candice Riley and I'm here for the dance transport at Yorkshire Dance. So it's been quite a beautiful experience to hear the stories and testimonies of the other participants actually really welcomed in a space where there are people from quite far across the geography of the UK and then also feeling quite centralised as a group through our collective experience. Hi, my name is Rosie May and I'm part of the Dance Transport today. Um, today has been um, quite overwhelming. I haven't been in a situation like this with so many people that also, you know, have, have similar and different backgrounds to me and the kind of a shared experience of um, being of the African diaspora but being in the UK and being in the dance industry and the dance industry being quite isolating or um, solitary sometimes um, so the fact that we can all be together in one room and sharing and being creative together um, yeah has been I don't want to say a good experience because it's like a nothing word but like it's been good <laughs> I'm Amma Rouge and today I'm at Yorkshire Dance in Leeds, which is my second city, so it's really beautiful to be here. So far today has been um, all oh, so many things. Um, it's been inspiring, exciting, it's been fizzy, it's been challenging, it's been vulnerable um, and it's made me excited actually about getting back in the studio again and about going into this new season of my journey with dance. It is wonderful. I'm at a stage in my journey with dance where I want to exchange and I want to learn from others and I'm also aware of what I have to share. Actually like the perfect time to be doing this kind of work and being in this kind of environment. And it feels, there's like a aliveness to it, which I love. I feel like I connect with Dance of the African Diaspora because um, I am of the African Diaspora and it is like a cultural identity to to have that experience to have that an awareness of lots of different ways of moving and it's been something that's grounded me whilst you know doing more european uh, dance styles it's it's made me feel most comfortable and most at home and it's like my most natural way of moving. So for me the connection comes with the rhythm, tone and voice and just the way that music can create movement. How when you hear the beat, when you move your feet or you start humming, that really creates a breath or a way of wanting to start moving and then just the words or sometimes the language that someone's speaking in a song can also evoke really great movement. I connect with Dance of the African Diaspora through the styles that I dance. So I dance Samba, um, Afro House, Afro Latin, Salsa. Um, I've also trained in West African dance. Um, and of course, I'm in jazz. And so there's so many dances that are rooted um, in Africa. Um, so it feels like it makes up a big part of my dance identity, but also my identity outside of dance. I think identity is so important when you're in a space like this, because you can then look at those unconscious biases, even looking at the pain that it creates, or the joy that comes from being a collective, learning and uncovering things that you didn't realise were important about your identity. A lot of what I create comes from my identity and who I see myself as, who I believe I am. So drilling down, exploring, understanding that is going to directly impact how I move through the world, how I show up in the world, the kind of work I create and the kind of spaces I create for myself and others.